An armed bank robbery suspect shot and killed by police right in the middle of downtown Denver. And today we're learning much more about that man killed. Denver 7 reporter Lance Hernandez is on Bannock near 14th where that shooting happened. And Lance, a memorial is now set up there. And you can see this sign and these flowers on a light pole. This is in the area where police tried to arrest uh, Dion Damon yesterday. I spoke with his wife a little bit earlier. She says they came over here so she could go over there and pay a parking ticket yesterday. Her husband and son remained in the car while she walked over. Then she turned around and came back to get her cell phone. That's when her son decided to go with her. They had just taken a few steps away from the car when police pulled up. Bullets could have struck off of poles. You know, what if I didn't go back for my son? A distraught Don Aguirre says she shudders to think what would have happened had her son still been in the car when police tried to arrest her husband. There would have been more lives taken. Police allege that Dion Damon robbed this bank last month. They say he walked in and at gunpoint ordered everyone to the floor. Did your brother rob a bank? Whether my brother robbed a bank or not, I don't know. But the, the, the point remains, whether he robbed it or not, he was unarmed when the police approached him. And there was no need to, to kill him. I just heard, get out with your hands up. Maybe about twice. Aguirre says she told police that her husband wasn't armed and begged them to let her talk him into giving himself up. Shortly afterwards, she heard the gunfire. The last thing I remember was looking at my husband. And he just put his head down. And that was it. Police were back at the scene today to continue their investigation. They're asking anyone who may have witnessed what happened or who knows anything about it to contact Denver police. I'm angry. I'm upset. I want to know why. Now, police say it was hard to see inside the suspect's vehicle because of the heavily tinted windows. They say that Officer Jeff Botts said he claimed or claimed he saw a threatening movement and fired his weapon seven times. Damon had a history of violent crime in Colorado, including prior arrests for assault, felony menacing, robbery, and extortion. In downtown Denver, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Thank you, Lance. And we wanted to know more about the officer involved in the shooting, Jeff Motts, and we found he was involved in a chase that ended in the shooting and killing of a suspect near 39th and Osage. That was back in 2013. That shooting was ruled as justified, and just last April, all the officers involved were honored for their work that day.